<laughs> hey guys, it's Dennis here, and there's Kulika. Hi. <laughs> and it's time for another video. Another bird video. We've been pretty busy lately, but we've been doing a lot of stuff with the birds. We just haven't been filming. So, in today's video, we thought we'll do a question and answer video. We haven't done one of those for a while. So, so yeah, let's do that. <laughs> spice. Here's little spice. You know, in the last video, I told you guys he was mimicking pie. So, I brought the cell phone down one day and I recorded him. He was talking. So, I'll put that clip in right now. It wasn't a very big clip, but you'll hear him. Let's see what he says. Spice! Hey, Spice! Yeah, Spice! Hello, Spice! Spice! Where's Peach? Where's Peach? Spice! Hello, Spice! <laughs> I told you guys he's talking. He's mimicking pie. So I'm using the phone here, actually. See if I can get him to say some more. Peach! Where's Peach, Spice? Spice! Spice! Where's Peach? Spice. Spice. I guess he he realized I'm using something here to record him. So hope you guys heard that. So yeah, that was little Spice. He was talking. Actually, Spice, he's a real hungry magpie. He's eating more than all the birds together, maybe. <laughs> Big appetite. And loves water too. Yeah, Spice is really growing. Cherry's watching the action back there. So, let's start with the questions now. We'll get right into it. So a lot of people have asked this question over the last little while, and, and for quite a while actually. They say, how do you know a peach is a crow and he's not a raven? Well, well, we know for a fact that peach is a crow, he's not a raven. <laughs> First off, he had a DNA test done to find out that he, he was a male. And it came back that he's classified as an American crow. And also, peach caws. Ravens don't caw. Ravens make like a, a throaty uh, sound. And sometimes you hear when peach is cawing, like, what's going on over here? <laughs> Look, Spice said, come here. I don't know if you guys picked that up here, but... He just said it in the Into background. The maple. Come here. <laughs> Actually, though, Peach is definitely a crow, and and you know he looks big, right? Like he looks like a really big bird. But if we had a raven here, let's say Maple was a raven, like be huge, like way up there, like just a huge bird. Like they're they're much yeah, much bigger. At least three times bigger. <laughs> yeah, and also the shape their tail, of the yeah. tail is yeah. different. So crow has this fennel guy yeah, shape. Like a fan, square. yeah. Tail, but crows have, I mean, the, the ravens have different, totally different <laughs> kind of tail. And also, the ravens have a kind of peak, like a little hook, like Hooked hooky down. kind of peak, so totally yeah. different. And they also have a kind of like different shape of their head, like the way the feathers are on their head. Yeah. So it's, it's just totally different birds. But, anyways, we know Peach is a crow. <laughs> yeah, the gang's all here, so it's hard to focus on just one bird. <laughs> but we'll try. There's Maple, yeah. So let's continue on. A lot of people have, have asked, do we trim any of our bird's wings? Well, Kulika? No, we never have, except for Cherry, because uh, his injured wing is hanging kind of low, so even right now one feather is out of placement. Yeah. So we really should be pulling it. There's the proof, guys. <laughs> That's a crow, not a raven. <laughs> we should be either pulling it out or trimming it or... Uh, or or something because it's getting stuck and it's kind of on his way. So but the other birds who have never ever trimmed any, any no. of their feathers. So. No. That, so we don't do any of the, mm -hmm. any trimming guys. So from time to time some people ask, will you ever release these birds back into the wild? Well, actually four of them are imprinted on us. And you can't release an imprinted bird back into the wild. They'd never survive. And Cherry, he he has a broken wing and actually he's a wild bird, but we adopted him from the wildlife rehabilitation here. 
and he'll never be able to fly again. Like he had a surgery done to help stabilize it, but he can never fly, and he cannot be released. So, no, we'll never release any of these birds. Here's another good question, guys. Mm -hmm. What do you feed the birds? Well, Kulaga? Well, they actually have pretty varied menu, so the main staple of their diet is uh, what we believe uh, is pretty high quality kitten food. So it's a dry kitten kibble that we soak. And uh, we complement it with all kinds of different things like uh, hard boiled egg yolk and cooked rice and uh, any kind of cooked meat, uh, uh, unprocessed uh, yeah. cooked meat. No salt or spices or anything. And <coughs> <laughs> also, we give them nuts and uh, and uh, seeds and uh, and berries. Uh, magpies really like uh, berries, yeah. all kinds of berries, but crows don't care much. But uh, sometimes they do. Yeah, so sometimes they do. And yeah. it's it's healthy for them. So we try yeah. to give them as many berries as they eat. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but what's one of their favorite schools? What do they, they really like? What's is, like a, a treat for them? Their favorite uh, treat would be uh, mealworms, of course. So they really love those. And in regards to food, uh, feeding them, we actually have a couple of videos on our channel where we uh, talk about what to feed and not to feed those birds. So we're going to put the link below. So if you're more interested in a topic, you can check it out. Yeah. Well, Pete, you want a worm? <laughs> bird spaghetti. Yeah, they really like mealworms. They love them. <laughs> Potty took that worm from Maple. There, Maple gets one. We know Spice likes mealworms. Look at that, he's getting in position. I'm giving them uh, treats in pecking order. <laughs> She's going by seniority. <laughs> yeah. There's Cherry back there. Cherry, take that worm. <laughs> he took it. You gotta wait, Spice. <laughs> Spice is waiting patiently over here at the He's water waiting. dish. He doesn't waste time. <laughs> He's having a swim. Have a worm there, Spice. <laughs> yeah, they, they really like those worms, guys. So yeah, we'll put the links below to those other videos. You can check them out if you want. Yeah, they love that. What a treat. Yeah, a lot of you guys watching, you know the answers to these questions. But maybe some of them are new and you, you, you didn't know. Because there's a lot of new people always joining the channel here. Thank you very much and for subscribing. And you don't know all the answers, so you're just asking the questions. So we don't mind. Ask away. So you notice here there's some cages here. Some people ask, why do you have cages? Well, the birds aren't always in the cages. We're interacting with them all the time. And they have an aviary outside we take them to, and they're out there too in the day. But this is mainly for for their safety. Right, Kulika? Yeah, because uh, we have ceiling fans in the house and uh, and wires, like for that air repression of air, or air, air purifier. Electrical cords, and they might go and start picking on those. And the house yeah. isn't really bird proof, so... No, it's not. It's not a house design. isn't isn't designed for birds to be flying free, so... And we also have a cat and a dog, yeah. so... They are good with the birds, but... Uh, we, we never leave them unattended alone. No. When we're busy or or working and we can't supervise, they're in their cages. And they don't mind being in there. Like, it's even hard to even get them out. They don't even want to come out of the cage. You open the door and you say, come on, come out. And they don't. you got to coax them out. <laughs> so, it's for their safety. Right, little Spice? Yeah, mm -hmm. Spice is enjoying that water. <laughs> so, it's mainly for safety, guys. We care very much about about these birds, and we don't want anything to happen to them. So, so that's the answer to that one. So here's another good question. <laughs> We've done videos with pie outside or inside. <laughs> Why won't he fly away and leave your hand? I don't know. I think he must be feeling really safe on my hand because he's the only one who will stay on my hand like that. Even Pete's will stay. Pete would come on my hand, but then <clears throat> right away he would want Take to go off. somewhere else and uh, do something else so so Pi is just he's like a magnet on my hand so I can go walk around the house go anywhere go in yeah. the yard and I can sit and uh, have breakfast outside at the picnic table or uh, or I can go watch TV and once I even had a nap uh, on the couch by TV uh, <laughs> Peach. 
and he was on my hand and when I woke up he was still sitting on my hand so <laughs> yeah, we don't. he just wouldn't leave and once I was sitting outside and it was a really windy day and a big wind gust came and blew him off and he got so scared he got right back up on my hand so <laughs> that's so funny yeah. so he's just yeah we don't know really know show. really why but he just feels nice and safe and secure there yeah no other <coughs> kid would stay like that yeah they all like like Pete really likes to be petted and uh, and would, uh, would would follow me around upstairs, but and Maple would really like to be petted and she's very lovable, but they would never stay on my hand no, like that. No, he's the so, only one. So so Pai really is the the pretty interesting specimen. <laughs> so the final question for this video. People ask this quite a bit. It's not really bird related, but they ask it. How did you two meet? <laughs> but when you think about it, it is bird related because if we never would have met, we wouldn't have the YouTube channel and, and these beautiful birds. So we met uh, December 19th, 2003. That's, that's almost 16 years ago. And we met in a nice little coffee shop here in town. But that's not how we really met. I didn't walk in there and say, oh, who's that girl over there? I'll go sit with her. <laughs> we met online. I, I joined an online dating site and actually I was single for about a year and I joined a dating site because I don't really go out and socialize like that I'm so busy with my work and I just don't approach women you know <laughs> so I thought I'd join that and, and then I met Kulika so you're probably wondering another thing like if you know Kulika you know she's from Estonia from Europe so how did I meet someone from Europe? So Kulika, the next question they're going to ask is why did you come from Europe to Canada? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> well, make I it actually, condense it. <laughs> like quite a few years ago, I had actually uh, done my master's degree here at the university. And uh, then I, after I got my degree, I went back to Estonia and uh, then uh, like uh, in 2003, when I came back here, uh, I had actually just uh, gone through some uh, really bad relationship and uh, I just felt like I need some fresh air, so I decided I'm going to come back to Canada where I had been studying years before and uh, just uh, to get some fresh air here. <laughs> change your scenery, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, I, needed, I, needed to, I needed to change, so I, I needed to do something to get out of there. And uh, I came here and, uh, and I met Dennis, so... <laughs> so the, the rest is history, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah. So as soon as I uh, saw him, I knew that uh, he's the one, so... <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty special. She said as soon as she saw me, <laughs> she knew I was the one. It was right the same minute when I first uh, put my eyes on you, so I, I, I knew that I want to be with you for the rest of my life. <laughs> wow. I know I'm very lucky to have Kulika as my wife. I love her very much and we have so much in common that I never would have known that, that I love birds this much and I've always loved animals. But she, she's always loved birds and she had pet birds in Estonia and she came here and, and she showed me her love for that and nature and everything. We both love hiking and everything and so many things and we love spending time together. Like It's, it's almost 16 years but it doesn't feel like more than six months. I still love her so much. I'm trying to finish that story, guys. Anyways, that's kind of the short story about that. Maybe one day we'll do a campfire and talk more about it or something. But so, so yeah, that's how we met. So thanks for all those questions, guys. I'm sure there's more we can answer in another video. Look at look at little pie here. <laughs> he also had a boss, so he looks like little vulture now. <laughs> Yeah, he's been molting big time, but yeah, he, nice <laughs> feathers so growing in. <laughs> There's maple down there. He wants to go to her cage. <laughs> There's cherry up there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's right, Peach, tell them. So guys, we're going to end the video now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And you found out a little bit that you didn't know, you know, like, like how we met. <laughs> So thanks for watching. If you're new here and wondering what's going on, please subscribe. We have a lot of videos up there. And then the notification bell, always click that so you're notified when we get new videos out. 
See you in the next one, guys. <laughs>